Hello everyone and welcome to the StarCityGames.com Open Series in Cleveland. I'm Glenn Jones and I'm joined in the booth by Dan Novak. Dan, Hi. welcome. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, you kind of caught fire on Twitter earlier today. I don't know if you know that. Oh, I didn't. I wasn't oh, aware of that. <laughs> no, uh, this, this mono green deck was very popular when we had it on the booth. Everyone was just crying out for the deck tech, so have to do it, obviously. Obviously. Uh, and it's a very cool deck. Uh, let's, let's dive right in. Starting off, you've got Colonial Hydra and this is Easily one of the better, if not the best, Colonial Hydra decks I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> Gavany Township was, you know, cool and all, but yeah. you've got a lot of cards that have very specific and very potent synergies. Yeah, this deck is just bursting with synergy. As you can see, we have Hunter, Ooze, Experiment 1, Dead Bridge Goliath, which you saw in the feature match I used to perfection. <laughs> uh, and uh, the new World Eater. I'm not even going to pronounce the P word. Holocronos. He's got it. Yeah, the Hydra just combos with all, with all of those creatures. And with a green deck ramping up, you want to hit a fat creature early mm -hmm. that just kills him quick. Hydra is the best one with everything else in the deck. Comes down, you can get, honestly, this deck can actually get it out on turn two with the right combination of cards. Really? Turn one Mystic, turn two, play two Burning Tree Emissaries off the Forest and the Mystic, have <laughs> the Shrine Land down here, All right. activate for five Hydra. That That's obviously very unlikely, but it is a possibility. And, and probably the most horrifying thing that can happen to exactly. anyone in standard right now, <laughs> by far. You thought, like, triple Burning Tree Emissary was bad. Jeez. That's that's a whole new level. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things I like the most about the de this deck is definitely the synergy with the bigger uh, counter guys. Like, Dead Bridge Goliath, Cloning Hydra is obviously almost just lethal yeah. in, in and of itself once that guy's in the graveyard. Yeah. Um, turning on Devotion for Na Nalia? 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 Nalia. Yeah, turning on the Devotion for Nalia, comboing with uh, the Hunter... And just being another fat guy for four that comes out quick and doesn't legend rule the Hydra, which it just hit a sweet spot in the curve that that was needed. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging the Deadbridge Goliath. I don't think we've seen the last of him. Um, yeah, plus uh, the scavenge was pretty insane. You mentioned Nylia, and this deck is, you know, uh, it's actually, it seems like a deck that obviously didn't start as like, you know, let's try and build a Nylia deck, mm. but she works so well in it. You've got so many, you know, colored manas in your casting cost. Yeah. You've got the Burning Tremors series, you've got Colonian Tuskers, mm. you've got all these other guys, Boon Saders, Polar Kranos, like it's so yeah. easy to get Nylia on, you need at, at, like two creatures, maybe three at, at most. Yeah, there are there are many times where I've attacked with her on turn five. That's, like, that's uh, serious business. And it's a necessary evil. Like, against the, the creature decks, it allows your guys to not trade off. Mm -hmm. And against control, it's a threat that hangs around after Supreme Verdict, because Supreme Verdict is one of the major problems for this deck. Like Mutavault, Boon Seder, which we're going to get to, and Nylia are the best cards you have in the main deck against the Verdict. Sure, you're just trying to like get, chip in for damage while keeping some amount of pressure on the exactly. board even after the Verdict each time. That makes a lot of sense. And the Trample in this deck is also, you know, no slouch. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've got a bunch of gigantic creatures, and Elspeth is catching fire. Those 1-1 one -one tokens, not such a big deal if you got a Nylia. Yeah, that, that came up, and it also came up with um, Boros Reckoner. That, oh, sure. Yeah, like, that guy was a 10-10. If I didn't have Nylia, I was taking 10 to the face if I attacked in. Oh, solve that problem mm -hmm. right quick. Uh, you mentioned Boon Seder. I feel like this guy is one of the better cards in Theros, but hasn't found a great home yet. Mm -hmm. This deck seems like definitely one of, if not the perfect Yeah, home it's home. great here. Um, a lot of people here today are playing Advent of the Worm, mm -hmm. and that helps my guys to either trade off or get through Advent of the Worm. And like I said, Supreme Verdict is big. Flashing in like on their turn, so they have to either use their mana for counter spells or the Detention Sphere guy, having a threat that can attack the next turn is big. Uh, bestowing like, with a Supreme Verdict in the format is very good. Uh, it's sweet spot on the curve with Elvish Mystic into that. It's good turn to play. It's a really good card. And, and last but not least, let's move to Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx. You already <laughs> said the, the most broken thing you could possibly do yeah. with it, I think. Uh, but in this deck, you actually can make a fair bit of use of it as a gigantic mana sink. Yeah. You know? You've got the, the Debra's Goliath, it's not, not cheap. The Polokranos, obviously a pretty mm -hmm. expensive ability. Bestow is, you know, five mana is five mana. And then Nylia, like if you can just turn out multiple activations of her turn, that gets very yeah. dangerous too. Yeah, yeah. Um, it definitely helped out in that feature match, being able to activate Nylia a bunch of times. But uh, the major thing was, it, it allowed me to play all the cards I got off of Garrick during Cyborg, because the games, okay. if I don't kill them by turn four or five, they can tend to go long. And that being able to generate that kind of card advantage and being able to use the mana to play all those cards every turn pulls you back over the top. That's, that's actually a really potent synergy, and I'm mm -hmm. kind of excited to see it. I think that Nykthos is a really cool mana engine. I, I expect we'll see a lot of decks utilizing it. This is the first green one we've seen. We've seen some red ones already. I think I've even seen a few black ones posted, although I haven't seen anything The fact, spicy. too, that it doesn't come into play tap and taps for a colorless doesn't make it worthless if you don't have a high devotion count. It's sure. still 
land that taps for colorless. Yeah, it's, it's a reasonable land, mm -hmm. can cast a lot of your spells still. Yeah. Uh, but when it goes into overdrive, it does some really impressive stuff. All right, Dan, thank you for sharing the deck with us. No problem. Uh, Thanks for having me. Good luck in the remainder of the tournament. <laughs>